Previously on Jillian and Addy. That's not a radio that looks like a walkie-talkie. Maybe if I get this one working, I can find the person who lost it and give it back to them. Look, keep pressing this button, and if they're out there, you'll find them. Hello? Who's there? Did you lose your walkie-talkie? I found it near the trail. I was watching you. And now I'm coming to take it back. Addy, turn it off! Okay, we'll just take this outside, we'll smash it up, we'll throw the pieces off a bridge, whatever we have to do to get rid of it. That won't work. Addy, I told you to turn that thing off! I did turn it off! <laughs> Take the batteries out! I'm coming to get you! <laughs> Did you get it? It's off now. I don't get how it could come on like that. I thought you turned it off. I think the button might have gotten stuck. We need to get rid of that thing. Should we take it outside and smash it with a rock? But if there's a tracking chip in there, we'll still need to get rid of the pieces. So what should we do? I think we need to take it back where you originally found it. But Jillian, you said this could be a trap. What if he's waiting for us in the woods? I don't think he'd try anything in public. There's a lot of people on that trail. Let's get rid of this thing. Is this where you found it? Yeah, right here. Then just put it back and let's get out of here. I half expected that when we came back the walkie-talkie would be on that couch. Yeah, I know what you mean, but I don't see it. Hey, have you seen Paco lately? I think he might have been in the living room. I don't know. I'll feel better if I see Paco. Paco! Oh, Paco, I missed you. Do you want to listen to some music, Paco? Did you really think you could get rid of me that easily? Addy, you look scared. The voice is back. It's on this radio this time. Did you turn it off? Yeah. Are we gonna have to get rid of this radio now, too? Let's just keep it off for now. Jillian, I know how a walkie-talkie works, but how did his voice get into a radio? I think he might be a ham radio operator. Ham radio? What's that? It's like a homemade radio transmitter. They can send messages over the airwaves. So as long as we leave the radio off, he can't bug us. Right. Well, I guess no more radio. <phone rings> Caller unknown? Hello? I'm everywhere! Addy! What's wrong? He's on the phone now. What did he say? He said he's not just on the radio, he's everywhere. Wait, are phones controlled by radio waves? Sort of. It's a different frequency. Well, how did he figure out your phone number? He must have hacked into it somehow. I don't know. 
Why is he doing this? I'm not even sure this is a real person. What do you mean by that? He always seems to be a step ahead of us. I think he's some sort of being that controls radio waves. You mean like a ghost? Maybe, but he could also just be a creature from another dimension. Well, what does it want from us? It seems to be getting more powerful every time it interacts with us. It might be trying to break into our world. Well, what can we do about it? I guess I'm gonna have to turn off my phone until we figure it out. I'm gonna turn mine off too. Julian, now he's calling me. Don't answer it! Wait, I have an idea. Hello? I'm getting closer! You're not scaring us! What are you doing? I'm dialing you in. Pick up. What are you doing? I just made this a conference call. How about a little feedback? <laughs> Addy, that was a great idea. Yeah, we trapped his signal in a loop between the two phones. And from the sound of it, he didn't like it very much. I don't think he'll be bugging us anymore. Incoming call. Yeah, me too. He's never gonna stop bugging us, is he? What are we supposed to do? Never turn on our phone or radio for the rest of our lives? Wait a minute, I have an idea. There's a wave even more powerful than radio waves. Let's do it then. Why do you need to put water in it? You can't run an empty microwave. It's dangerous. Is this gonna ruin our phones? It shouldn't. We're not actually putting our phones inside the microwave. So how does this work? <coughs> One minute. That ought to do it. He's calling again. Try to keep him on the line and dial me in like you did last time. Got it. Hello? I'm getting closer. I can practically see you now. Why are you doing this? I have big plans for your world, and you just opened the gateway. But well, we have big plans too. Now, Jillian! <laughs> Is it over? Is he gone? I'd say he's well done. Do you think he'll call back again? If he does, we'll know how to handle him. Buy our merch. There's so many, we got plenty. Buy our merch. Hey, do you like this hoodie that I'm wearing? You can have one of your own. And not just hoodies, we have a whole line of official Jillian and Addy merch. Like backpacks. Or face masks. Even chicken merch. We even have Jillian and Addy socks. Just click on the links below and they'll take you to our Teespring store. Or just go to JillianandAddy.com. It's all good. So that was the conclusion of the Walkie Talkie Terror. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Be sure to check out our other two channels. There's Jillian and Addie Laugh, our comedy channel, and Jillian and Addie Life, our vlogging channel. <laughs> They're so fun. Okay, and be sure to follow us on Instagram. We also post new pictures, videos, and stories most every day. We also post sneak previews of our upcoming videos, like this one. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's Baka? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>